Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Wall to Wall Art. Yesterday, I showed you some of my watercolors. This is a watercolor painting I've done. Today, I'm going to show you an acrylic painting I've done. This is the same, uh, same image. The watercolors, I painted it on watercolor and acrylics. I'm just painting it on a back of a cardboard. Okay. You can use canvas, you can use back of a cardboard. You can use the back of a cardboard from a watercolor pad. So when you're done with the watercolor pad, save that and you can paint uh, acrylics on it. So you can compare the difference between watercolors and acrylics. This is just something I do, uh, just for fun. But we're not here for watercolors or acrylics. We're here for the Inktober pieces. Today is Inktober day 10. And let me show you some of the previous Inktober pieces. They're nice and flat. Today's Inktober piece, look how curled that page is. The reason it's so curled is because there's so much ink on it. Let me show you which character this is. This is Marv from Sin City. Okay. For those of you who landed on my channel, my name is Walden Wong. I've been a comic book artist for Marvel Comics and DC Comics for a pretty good long time. Uh, check out my website, it's WaldenWallArt.com and I also have a Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash WaldenWallArt. All the links are below, so check it out when you have a chance. And I'm gonna show you my process of working on this Marv piece. This one's a, a fun piece to work on. It was also a viewer's suggestion. I looked at the comments and then someone said, Hey, I would like to see you work on Marv. And I thought that was such a great idea. This is a different style than what I've done with the previous Inktober videos. Check out some of my uh, previous videos so you can see some of those. But today's video, I'm gonna show you how to work on Marv. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna work on Marv from Sin City. Sin City is created by Frank Miller, published by Dark Horse Comics. There's a, a movie with Sin City out there. If you haven't read the comic book, you can watch the movie. If you watch the movie, read the comic. The comic is so good. So I'm drawing this Marv from Sin City based on Frank Miller's style. I was getting close to his style. So before working on this, I was studying his work to look at the contrast that he does for his art. So I'm adjusting my penciling style, my drawing style to adapt to his style as close as I can. So before I started this, I did some thumbnail sketches on the left side on a scratch piece of paper just to figure out a pose that I like for Marv to be standing in. I did a few sketches and then I also researched some guns just to see how a gun looked. The guns aren't 100% accurate. I, I just wanted the pose more than the weapons, but I did do some research on some of the guns that uh, Sin City had and I went close to it. So I'll draw the figure first as usual. I'll just draw the figure first and then after I have the figure done, I'll draw the clothing around the figure. Get all of that uh, drawn in there. And I'm thinking about the light source. The light source is going to be coming from where the gun is shooting and I'm having the wind blow in the opposite direction of where the gun is blowing because we, we don't want any of the trench coat that's flying in the air to be behind the gun or in front of the gun. I want the focus to be on Marv and not on the gun. So I'm having the fabric of the French, uh, the fabric of the trench coat all the way to the left side. After sketching everything out, I go in there and I'll start drawing the hands and the details of the fingers. And I'll draw a few times until I get it right. First time, very rarely do I get it right the first time. Once in a while, maybe. But after a few tries, I, I can get the angle right. So Because the hand is just such a dyna dynamic part of the body. It's kind of like drawing the face. So when it, when you're drawing the face and we're drawing the hands, that, those two elements need to be very, very important. So I'm having Marv stand there holding his rifle over his shoulder. And then on his left hand, he's holding a gun, kind of like a relaxed pose because he just finished beating someone up and someone's on the floor. And then he's putting that person out of his misery. So he's just holding his gun and then lightly just pulling the trigger. And then I had his pinky fingers uh, standing upwards. So he's kind of more in a relaxed mode, like he's finishing the job. And then here, I'm, I'll draw bandages. I drew bandages around Mars' face, his chest, and his arms, just because it's cool. I, I think it's because it's cool. And then after having 
all of that drawn in, I go in there and I'll start adding shadows. And then again, when I'm adding shadows, I think about where the light source is coming from. Light source is coming from where the gun is shooting. So all the shadows are on, are on the opposite side. So I focus all my shadows on the opposite side. And I'm also thinking about the folds of the clothes, the fabric. And this time when I'm drawing it, I'm drawing it more relaxed because I'm going to, when I start inking it, I'm going to really go in there and start playing with inks instead of every, instead of having everything so controlled and detailed, I'm just going to sketch it very loosely. And then when I draw the face, oh, I'm, I'm going to remove this uh, paper off the sketchbook so I can start spinning the page. Ironically, I didn't really spin this page that much with my left hand. Usually when I'm inking, I will spin it. But this time, I'm just going to draw draw it with the page standing up. So I'm inking all the face first and all the bandages. And even in there, I'll start adding some shadows with the micron just to get everything all in details. I'll go in there. I'll start adding the eyes, nose, and mouth, the hair, just putting all of that in there first. And then after that, I'll go back and fill it in, fill in all the areas around there. I can use a brush, but with the Micron, I'm just more accurate because there's so much going on in the face. There's wrinkles, there's a sh shadow there, there's a light source there, there's also bandages. I got to work around the eyes, work around the nose. So I'm going in there and I'm just making sure everything is inked in the right areas. And then here, after inking the hands, I use a ruler just to make sure the gun, the rifle is all the way across. So we don't have any lopsided rifles. I'll use the ruler to ink that in and then I'll start inking the other hands both hands, inking all the hands, and then all the straps, the bandages around each finger. This kind of reminds me of when, when I'm inking Spider-Man or drawing Spider-Man. It has that same kind of um, cylinder feel. But these are Marv's straps. He Marv is a character that's just so beat up that he has bandages all over his body. So here I'm... After all that's done, I'm going to get the brush and I'm going to start filling in all the black areas. Making the, making the rifle dark, making light sources, going in there and adding the, the belt on the trench coat, adding the loops, adding the, the straps on the, the belt. And then I'm just going to go in there and ink in some of the lines of the arms and then creating a halo between the outside of the arm and the inside of the arm. Halo is where there's a white line that separates two dark area. So right now I explained that there's a halo because later on I'm going to make all the background black. If I made all the backgrounds black and I filled the whole arm black, you won't see the arm, so I would leave a halo. Halo is this white line that separates two inked areas, so it helps separate them better. So I'm going to continue inking around all the bandages and filling all of that detail in there. And then also thinking about the light source and where the shadow is, and then inking more folds. Now, when Frank Miller is working on Sin City, a lot of his line work, they're a solid black. There's no taper lines. It's just... A white and black so I went in there and I started doing white and black there's no tapering on this and when I'm doing the inking it's more relaxed I'm just using my brush and I'm naturally just throwing the inks in there drawing the shoes inking the shoes uh, drawing the other side of the trench coat and then just randomly placing the shadows everywhere in between the folds and it, it, this is really this was such such a fun fun Inktober piece to work on and I thank the the viewer who suggested this to me it, this was such a such a fun project and I'm going to continue now I'm going to go back there and ink the window frames so the light source the secondary light source is coming from behind him from where the uh, windows are so he's standing in a dark room he just puts someone out of his misery the light source is coming from his gun and there's a light source coming from behind the window. And then on, on the bottom, I'll just ink the floor of the object that he's shooting at. And then some blast lines from the gun. And now I'll start filling in some of the backgrounds to make Marv pop out more. To give it more of that New York contrast feel. Ink the gun all black. 
and then start filling in some of the uh, backgrounds and then right here i'm just tapering some blast lines focusing from the center of what is shooting so in what is shooting it's just going to be a really light silhouette of of a head and i'm just going to draw a few lines i'm not even going to ink the whole head just indicate that there's a face over there because the the blast is so bright that you you can't really see whose face is over there so now i'm just using the brush holding the bottle of ink with my left hand and i'm going in there and i'm filling in all the black areas as quick, quick as i can this whole whole piece took me maybe around three hours and i'm just condensing it to 10 15 minutes video but it did take me a while to finish this piece i didn't even want to put it down because inking all the folds and fabric was just so much fun working on this it's my first time working on a sin city piece i'll cover some of the foot but later on i'll bring out my white gel pen and i'll add in some of the white lines so i sign my name when it's all that's done i'm using my micron adding a little bit of details here and there some small thick lines some little bit of grays and then when when that's done, i'll bring out my white gel pen yeah on the bottom of a uh, marv's trench coat there's is so raggedy that there's holes on the bottom so i went in there and just added more holes so here just adding more shadows because i want the shadows to be heavier coming from the light source of where the gun is and then i'm gonna go in there and add little minor details on the rifle and the sideburns over there just to give it more hair more detail adding some textures here and there just to give it some some shape when all of that's dry, make sure everything's dry, uh, you erase it. Now I'm using the white gel pen and I'm adding in details. Like for example, the crosshatch ridge marks of the gun handle. Some extra lines in there, some feet. And I don't ink the whole leg going up on his right leg because I imagine there's a shadow covering up that part. So when, whenever this thing is completely dry, just go there and erase it. And then when I erase, I always erase in between my two fingers, my left hand fingers, because you never know that if you're erasing so hard, you might crunch, crumple up your paper. So I'm always erasing in between my uh, left hand. And then here I'm finishing with the final touch, adding some spat spatter on the thing that's being shot. Uh, added his necklace, uh, created a white line in between the blacks in the necklace. There it is. And there you have it. That's Marv right over here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, check out my website. It's waldenwallart.com. Uh, my Patreon is patreon.com slash uh, You can go there and check out all the fun stuff that I have. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that notification bell. So when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to see it. So for the month of October, I'm doing October and I'm having a video a day. So far, so good. And this was October number 11. So until next time, I hope you're doing October. I hope my videos inspire you to do uh, artwork. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.